Well, hello, soul family. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Friday, fabulous Friday, September 27th. Yes, September 27th. I had to check the calendar because I totally forgot to check the date. Um, yeah, Friday, September 27th of 2024. So, yeah, happy Friday to all of you. I hope you're all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you found this video is when you're meant to hear the message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, let's go. One more shuffle in the deck, and yeah, tune in. So before, well, as I was shuffling the cards before I had started the reading, the um, crown chakra energy was showing, and what I was getting from that is that we are all stepping to into a higher, um, higher knowledge. So, uh, like, within our own journeys. So, in whatever aspect you are in, you are stepping into a new level of enlightenment, of um, knowledge, of knowing, and just of being. So, yeah, that's the message that I was getting. So, let's see what the affirmation has to say. So, number 124, secondary chakras, soles of the feet. Check out the healing symbol. Card number, I mean, yeah. Securely and easily, I advance on my path in life. Securely and easily, I advance on my path in life. So, if you remember yesterday's um, affirmation, it was number 123. So, today we're getting 124. And that has never happened where we've gotten to like we've gotten the same card twice in a row but we haven't gotten like the numerical order and so um yeah so that goes to kind of what I was feeling is that like we are moving forward so we went from 123 yesterday to 124 today so securely and easily I advance on my path in life yes Absolutely. So that's what we are all doing right now. We are moving along our path in life. Um, we are taking the steps forward and we are growing and expanding and learning as we do that. So, yeah, like we have taken the next step forward from number 123 so, and moved up to number 124. So <laughs> look at us. Um, so, yeah, let's read it. Securely and easily, I advance on my path in life, meaning life does not have to be difficult. Of course, we are permitted to torment ourselves if that is what we absolutely want to do. But why should we do that to ourselves? Is that a loving way to treat ourselves? You are a child of the creative force and deserve all of the love there is. So go ahead and leave a few obstacles on your path in life behind. After all, the others also need some challenges to deal with. And this will make it possible for you to dance through your life with even more ease and security. Be sure to take the path that is waiting for you because this is where you will be able to deal with the obstacles and do so more playfully. And soon you will even enjoy dancing around them. Healing Stone, Tiger's Eye, Aragonite, Aragonite, <laughs> Fragrant Essence, Neroli, and the Bog Flower is Clematis. So... Yes, securely and easily, I advance on my path in life. So this is us choosing to be on our best and highest path, the path that is laid out for us and being able to dance our way and skip our way through challenges because they are easy. Well, you know, they are less challenging because when we are on the path that we are supposed to be on we can usually look ahead and see what challenges would be in our way and thus when those challenges arrive we already know exactly what it is that we need to do in order to you know get past those challenges so 
this is coming through just to remind us to make sure that the journey that we are on is truly the path that we desire to be on and the path that is the highest one available for us. And yeah, and when we come to challenges, just know that challenges are part of the path, but when you are on the correct path, those challenges are less challenging. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's like, I just got the image of like, um, like with track and field when they are running the hurdles. So like there's, you know, like the 100, 200 or 400 meter. And then, but there's also the ones with hurdles. And so, well, yeah. So like there's just the plain, like the sprints, but then there's also the ones with hurdles. And so when you're running the race with hurdles, you know that the hurdles are there. And so you have time to anticipate how you are going to get over them. This is how I am feeling with this is that there are, there are going to be hurdles. However, you already know how to prepare and how you're going to get over them. So that's the beautiful thing. All right. So, all right. Well, this has been our affirmation for today, this fabulous Friday. I hope you all found something that resonates with you. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up and share this message with anyone who needs to hear it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, happy Friday. You know, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey and I will see you in the next one.